Or he might be kin pretty convincingly, so... I don't know. It seems like... Um, Steve can camp... Um, can out a lot with his blocks, because... I feel like Ken will have a hard time jumping around the blocks, because... A lot of kins, they like to either approach with Nair or, like, high-level kins. Like, in Vendetta, they used to like they like to use a lot of tilts, but yeah, just low end kins, so... Game 1, I think they went... It just, uh, defaults to PS2, which... You know, most players just go to Automat, but yeah, PS2. Okay, just a little bit, 25% come out from DD. D trying to go for, like, the insta-kill with the block back here, but... Oh! You got Steve, Dan. I mean... What the heck? Jazz is literally just kind of glitched behind them, and... Ooh, this is so close! Oh, here comes the combos! Good DI from Jazzo. Not DI out, because... Didi was kind of kind of already behind him, and he was dragging him with him, so... Like, I feel like upper combos are kind of weird. Hot, uh, <laughs> hot seller. Yeah, this is gonna be a hot set, because... I've always wanted to see these two players fight. And even though Didi is seated a bit higher than Jazzo... I think Jazzo might have what it takes to beat Didi. It's a fair. I'm spicy didn't do near. Yeah, there's a near. Deep, yeah, let's talk to him. It looks like he's trying to get for that diamond right now, trying to keep Ken away from him. But, you know, Jazzo being a rushdown player and Ken being, you know, a rushdown character, he's putting a lot of pressure on him. It's making it hard, so. It's making it hard. Ooh, almost caught the roll, but DD uh, rolled back in time. It's making it hard for DD to get enough space for him to. Uh, run backward and gather his materials, but oh, DD messed up. It's gonna be the the job uppy taking it three stocks on. You already know how it is. Nice down. We're gonna kill Jazzo. I guess the the upper is trying to bait Jazzo to jump after him, but DD just said nope. He got, uh, threw down that down air, which I think it's really uh really strong one startup, but actually. Does um the Steve's down there linger or not linger? Does it get like weak over time? Cause I feel like it does, but I don't I don't know. I mean, Jazz is just kind of chilling. He's kind of running in, doing his thing. But Dee's kind of struggling right now to really get much started. Oh, there's a diamond. Ooh, these scramble situations are always so it's so intense because literally one hit from. What? Uh, that's so cool. Or that's not cool. That's stupid. <laughs> Literally, Jazzo hit uh, DD with his there, and he stayed in the minecart. But in these type of situations, what were these characters? They don't have a uh, necessarily good neutral, but their disadvantage or their advantage state is like really good. So it's just like if you lose neutral just once, then you do a lot of damage, and that might be tough. Rage can 105. Jazzo taking game one off of DD. I mean. With a, a solid two stock, I mean. We might see a character pick from DD. I don't know though. I feel like uh, DD might choose PT, but the decision is all his. Uh, they chose Tekken, bro. That game. This game's music is not good. I'm sorry to all the Tekken fans that are watching this, but Tekken? I don't know about that. I mean, the game's alright, but the music? Man. Wait, did he? Oh, I guess he... <laughs> I guess he chose a different character. I mean, it's the same character, but it's not at the same time. You see, if you play Default Steve, you're trash. If you play Enderman, you're goaded. If you play Zombie, though, you're both different. But the facts of the match. Those nares get uh jazz a lot of you know combo potential and damage, but you sleep low, bruh. Tell him, <laughs> bro. Hello, hello. Ooh, the down are not coming out from uh DD. Nice up air to swat jazz with the air. Uh-oh. That's actually dude, that's actually so good for Steve, because Steve can apparently just drop down and use his up air and a still hit. So he doesn't have to... Well, I mean, I guess he still has to re-grab ledge, but... I mean, uh, Ken's options for hitting people that are hanging onto ledge for too long aren't too good because... 
I mean, the only thing he really has is down smash, or I guess he could like run backwards and down air, but that's reactable, and down smash is like really weak, and it's very hard to space it, but I'm not gonna say anything, but you know, auto turnaround is pretty crazy. Definitely didn't see anything there, but yeah, Jazz is not gonna match up to that at like 120 or something. You know, uh, DD's just gonna get the, the dash stack with the diamond. Yeah, Jazz is trying to approach in the air, but DD's just throwing up these, uh, you know, these up tilts. That should be death. Oh, uh, no, I think, uh, I think DD re grab was an accident. That is not true anymore. I'm pretty sure there used to be a time where, um, Ken's like down tilt to side B was like a true combo, but not anymore. Ooh, this off stage. Ken sucks off stage, dude. What? That was okay. I think that was a a heavy up tilt. Cause the difference between Ken's jab and up tilt is up tilt sends a lot further, and but jab has like you can cancel it and it sends like a lot less further, so you can combo it into sure you can. But Jazzo doing like a, a focus attack, and I think he just like missed. Miss input is something and he died for it. And I mean, Diddy's kind of running away from this game. He's definitely adapted to what he messed up on earlier. He's doing a lot of like, I think this is like the third dashback uh, as Smash he did. And he knows Jazza wants to approach in the air, so he's doing a lot of up tilts when they're, when Jazza's in that range where he can, which we'll call it, nail on him. But Diddy gonna take the second game. Not Jazza uh, jumping from ledge. I guess he was trying to jump above him or trying to do another near, but. That is 1-1. One, one. I don't know about game three. I already know these players' nerves are about to go crazy. We might see a uh, SD. Oh my god. Tekken music again. Running it back to FD. FD is actually. I feel like FD is a good stage for Ken because he can't really get platform camped and whatnot, but I don't think it really matters versus Steve because Steve builds his own like, uh, like structures he can't with, so. I don't think he really cares. Ooh, this is the combos. Jazz are DIing in. Getting out the um the upper combo. Dude, these footies go crazy. DD is just like uh spacing Jazz out, running backward and or walking backward and forward with Jazz. And Jazz are trying to find the right times for him to nair and do it safely. So we're like um he can actually reach him when um, DD can't really step back and, you know, just have a Jazza whiff. And he needs to find a time where um, his up air isn't active. He can punish the, you know, like with him. But it's hard because um, Steve's up air, or not up air, up tilt and like jab are pretty much lagless. Go check out the Hadouken and it doesn't have a jump. He's, oh, he does. Good tech. Oh, wow, Jazza made it actually, he made it back on stage, but the Jazza is at 126, you already know what time it is. Rage King, this man, Didi is about to die on like one air, one air job up but good. Ooh, is that a shield break? Dude, the, the freaking block saved him. I don't know if that was intentional or not to run by the block and have it so... Jazzo has more hitstone alone, but that was pretty crazy because either DD was getting his shield like super low or he was getting it broken. Up airs. A nice 64. Dude, Diamond is so strong. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Gotta hit those sex, man. 50%. Bro. <laughs> Dude, C does so much damage with Diamond. Got the jump. Jazz was definitely playing a lot more. Like, he's trying to push his advantage a lot more harder in this game because he's at a huge deficit. And yeah, that's it. Not much we can do in that situation. D gonna take this at 